what is up and welcome to Mamps on the Map and to Halong Bay where we're on the Essence Grand Cruise, a five-star luxury cruise here in Halong Bay spanning over two nights and three days with various activities, delicious food and just a perfect place to chill out and relax and see the beautiful sights that Halong Bay has to offer. So in today's video I'm going to be giving you the full lowdown on this incredible experience. So it was an early start for day one as our transportation which was provided by Essence Grand at no extra charge picked us up from our hotel to take us on a two and a half hour drive to the port. So today we are heading to Halong Bay for a two night three day cruise. We wanted to go for one of the more premium cruises and there's loads of luxury five star cruises but we chose to go with a company called Essence Grand Cruises which is basically a super yacht. But the price is basically similar to all the other five star cruises so we thought why not, why not check it out. There's not many reviews online because it is quite new so we thought you know, let's take the risk and, and see what it's about. We booked direct with Essence Grand and so transportation was arranged for us. So we got picked up from the hotel at about half eight and then it's basically a two and a half hour drive to the port or the marina, which is basically where a smaller boat, which takes our luggage as well as us, will then take us to the cruise, which I believe is already in Halong Bay. What we found when we were doing our research into the Halong Bay cruises, or most of them, if not all of them, pick up from Hanoi so that's where your base will need to be so we purposely booked a pretty cheap hotel in Hanoi and that's also where you're gonna get dropped at uh, at the end of your cruise so we're just waiting in this kind of holding area but it's quite relaxing there's some classical music going on there's green tea lemon tea water and hot towels and things like that so it does have like a luxury vibe to it luggage loaded and all guests accounted for the small boat took us to the essence grand and on a level when you see this thing in person it is a sight to behold it oozes class luxury and finesse and then it was time to board the super yacht and after being greeted with a fresh towel welcome drink and smiles from the crew i knew this was going to be an unforgettable two nights this felt like a five-star hotel not a boat so we've just made it onto the boat uh, and now what we're going to do is get some lunch, see what the food is like on this boat and then we're going to head to our room and check out our room. Thank you very much sir. Thank you. Say that again? Hey. <laughs> England. England. Yeah, like, uh, Punjab. Uh, so he speaks Hindi. You speak oh, Hindi? Wow. Namaste. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you know this? Just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know of Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're very good. You didn't bother. Yeah. <laughs> so after a bit of banter with the lads, it was time for an introduction from the team, including a safety debrief and an overview of the itinerary, including some of the incredible facilities that the ship had to offer. Uh, for the big kids like me, uh, we have the game room, PS5, and other games. Uh, we also, last but not the least, on the basement, we have billiards, we have uh, virtual golf, and two rooms for karaoke if you want to party. So we've just sat down for lunch and the lunch is so extensive it just all looks incredible and looks of like top-notch five-star quality and i'm not like even joking or exaggerating like fresh seafood sushi barbecued meats so mrs on the map is vegetarian so they're going to make a thing specially and bring that to our table so i've decided to go for a few things to begin with a bit out of my comfort zone uh, the first being this guy so this is a shrimp so peeling shrimps is not my thing and kind of creeps me out and after fighting with the shell for some time things took a turn as the shrimp decided to fight back uh. Uh. brother uh. what's that ew you know what, uh, maybe I shouldn't be trying these extravagant foods. I just got shot in the face with brown stuff from the shrimp. You can see that I'm low-key a bit traumatised. Alright, so this is the de-shelled shrimp. 
after I got like shrimp guts or whatever all over me, which is just absolutely fantastic. But let's try it. Mm. It tastes really good, I just don't know how to eat it. For those of you that want to know more about the food on the ship, I'll be producing a more in-depth video going into detail on all of the food on the Essence Grand, so be sure to look out for that. So we just finished off at lunch and lunch was spectacular. Honestly, the quality of the food like blew our minds. We did not expect it to be that good. Not only look that good, but taste that good. You know, having seen other reviews of different cruises on YouTube, we were a bit skeptical about what the food would be like, especially given Mrs. on the map is vegetarian. But the staff here, like, they are incredible. They genuinely went above and beyond to make sure that she had enough food and it was all specially made for her given she's vegetarian. Like, I can see why this is now a luxury Halong Bay cruise just from having lunch. We haven't really had a chance to really explore the ship yet, but the room is like insane. We were blown away when we walked into the room. Oh, so our, our room is on the one third that we floor, just right? Down. We're 303. No, we're 201. <laughs> <You're really laughs> I, uh, I'm not very good at them. <laughs> 203. 201. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's this is huge. Sick. Oh my god. be doing an in-depth room tour maps on the map style which you won't want to miss so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out like i said it is an upgraded suite just because they had sold out of the standard suites probably if you even if you go for the standard suites you're not going to be disappointed uh, i'm sure the entry level suite is just as incredible you can just see behind me man the views of halang bay like is stunning it's it's just so cool <laughs> I've never been on a cruise before so like it's just man it's just it's a bit overwhelming like trying to take it all in um, but you know hopefully the rest of the video or the series of videos wherever I plan to do with the content is going to kind of showcase that. So obviously today's day one and the way that it works is that there's an itinerary over the next three days. We're currently on our way to see a cave so I think we're going to be exploring a cave and that's where the ship's taking us. With a bit of time to kill until the ship reached the caves, we thought we would explore the super yacht and check out some of the facilities. So we're just exploring the second floor, the floor where our room is. Um, but I think there's rooms on most floors. And even though I guess there's quite a few people here, it still feels quite empty. Oh poker wow, room. the poker room. Entertainment, that is soup. That is soup. So on the second floor, we've come across this. This is the entertainment room, or basically the poker room, because there's a huge poker table here, and it's just like proper suave vibes up in here. We've got a poker table, and then just opposite is the cigar lounge and wine cellar. And then just next to it is the conference room. Ooh. This is very fancy. Like a bar, there's a massive boardroom table. Whoa! <laughs> piano? This is sick, this is massive. Awesome. Just for vibes, have a cigar or a glass of wine. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We're now exploring level one. That is good. But we found the kids club. And look how sick this is. <laughs> this is actually mad. Oh my days, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> we got alpacas up in here. Oh my god, and there's like hardly any kids here. So if you're a kid here, you would be loving life with your free alpacas. There's a slide, a ball pit, and then going out there, this is the entertainment room, which is just opposite. Even this is sick, there's books, there is table football. Oh, there's, there's the PS5. The PS5. <laughs> that is so sick. You games there now? They are FIFA. Oh. That's me sorting tonight. We got a FIFA with the lads. Play a bit of table football. Just chill. This place is an absolute vibe. 
and for those of you that want to revitalize, rejuvenate and relax, well the Essence Grand features a full on spa, steam room and sauna with treatments available at an extra cost. We managed to find the spa which is on the first floor and this is the gym and it's an extremely well equipped gym. There's dumbbells, benches, there's a single kind of Smith machine where you can do various exercises. There's cardio equipment, treadmills, cross trainers. So you can get a complete workout here. A full on gym with wicked lighting as well and new equipment on board the Essence Grand. And then if you follow me, this is another meeting room. So there's a few of these meeting rooms. And if you're having meetings aboard this boat, then you must be a proper baller. So yeah, the meeting room. Okay, so we're still on the first floor. We're trying to find where the pool room is and there's some karaoke rooms here as well. That's in the basement. So this is the games room or the basement games room with a pool table and there's also if you follow me I can't believe they have this they've got virtual golf here for everyone to enjoy it's actually insane man the amount of facilities and entertainment on this cruise ship <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is the karaoke <laughs> this is so sick <laughs> this is the karaoke room <laughs> Okay, we may be coming back later to do karaoke. Let's see where the night takes us aboard the Essence Grand. This is so sick. <laughs> so we asked reception about the karaoke and it's a reservation only and it's at a cost. So that is not a free activity. It's 2.2 million dong, which is about 70 pounds. Very expensive for karaoke, I must say. So if you're in a group of people celebrating something, then maybe yes. But we just wanted to enjoy some a cheeky bit of karaoke. But never mind, it's there if you want to do it. Right, so an announcement's just gone off on the ship that we're 15 minutes away from the caves, which is our next activity. So we're going to basically head to the meeting point where a smaller boat is then going to take us to the caves. So we're making our way up to Sungsop Cave, which is the largest cave in Halong Bay. It's about 600 steps, I think, to get up to the top. <laughs> Flashbacks of Hawaii. <laughs> oh god, make it stop. And also what's pretty cool is that a photographer comes along with the group, taking free photos on a professional camera uh, at no additional charge. So that concludes our trip to Sungsop Cave. So now back to the ship to chill, get ready and have some dinner. So look at this, the sun is now setting and so all of the cruise ships are now kind of chilling in the same space. Now I don't know whether during the night we'll slowly move to another place or whether we just jam here as our base. So we're currently on floor 6 here at the Essence Grand which is basically where there's a rooftop bar with happy hour every day from half 5 to half 6. It is just sick vibes and you get views of all the other ships here at Halong Bay as well. So you just can't beat it. Right, so for appetizers we've got a few things. We've got lobster with cheese. For an appetizer, mad. We've got a halong squid cake, which I assume is like, kind of looks like fried squid, really. We've also got baked oysters. So lobster oysters and squid for an appetizer. I'd be happy with this for a mate. What's that again? Squid cake. This kind of looks like calamari, like yeah, fried yeah, squid, yeah. right? Mm. Nice. It's like a squid pagora. <laughs> cool, let's try this cheesy lobster. Wow, that looks good. It's piping hot. Cheese and lobster. No. Mm. Really nice. I've never seen it with cheese like that before. An incredible appetizer. Again, everything just on point, flawless. So the main course is Australian strip loin steak with a truffle and border lace sauce. 
with some mashed potato and ratatouille and it looks delicious and they even give you the choice of how you want it cooked so I went for medium and it is a perfect medium there you go wow it's really nice honestly I know it's said a lot with steaks but it is literally mouth in your mouth quality steak So we've just finished dinner here at the Essence Grand Cruise and oh my god, the dinner was incredible. Like it's full on like top-notch restaurant quality level of food and it came for Mrs. On the Map as well and like it just was absolutely flawless man. I can't complain with the food. Even the dessert was good and normally like low-key Vietnamese dessert did not hit in previous restaurants and previous dinners but this was delicious. With the night still young, we decided to check out some of the evening activities, including squid fishing, which was taking place on the first floor. We are currently squid fishing, and someone actually caught a squid, which is pretty mad. It's quite relaxing, actually, just like doo doo doo. Oh, it's very big. Wow. Look. Oh my god. Oh, it's still moving. Oh scary. my god. After a spot of squid fishing, to our surprise, the night decided to take a musical turn. Okay, so me and Mrs. on the map came back to the karaoke room and the guy initially said we had to pay for it, but no one's here and the karaoke room is now fully working and we have access to the songs, so we're going to see if it works. Hello everybody, we have found a karaoke of the ship. Ooh. To our surprise, we got the whole setup working, but for copyright reasons, sadly, I cannot show you my beautiful singing voice. But here's the clip of me attempting to rap and then realizing there was a bit too much profanity going on. <laughs> we can't say the word. Okay, we can't sing the sound because we're getting in trouble. So we're not gonna say any naughty words. Honestly, karaoke was a vibe, man. It was jokes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Good night. So this has been day one at Essence Grand and it has been an incredible first day but I'm gonna get some sleep because I'm absolutely shattered so I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Good night. Good morning and welcome to day two here on the Essence Grand Cruise. It's been quite an early start to the morning, so between half five and six in the morning is sunrise, so we woke up to see the sunrise, but then it was low-key cloudy, so we couldn't find like where the sun actually was. So yeah, we didn't actually see like proper majestic sunrise vibes, but then we were up. So then from six till 6.30, we actually did a Tai Chi class, which was actually pretty relaxing and that was on the top deck of the ship so you had those incredible views a bit of a light breeze and uh, yeah did tai chi for the first time and then between half six and half seven is a light breakfast as for what we're doing for day two so from about 8 30 to about half three we're actually out uh, on excursion so basically a smaller boat is going to take us from the Essence Grand cruise ship uh, and we're going to be doing a few different things. So we've gone from our smaller boat from the cruise to this island called T-Top Island and now what we're doing is we're basically transferring onto a medium-sized boat which would be our kind of I guess tour boat for the day. We're basically on our medium-sized boat for the day and we'll be on this boat for the duration of our excursion for today and it's quite a nice boat actually it's quite comfortable the seating tables it's where we'll have lunch they've even given us some nice tea which uh, is okay so it's about a 40 minute boat trip now to our first destination which is basically some kayaking through some bright and dark caves and I love kayaking, getting in the water and just exploring and that's what Halong Bay is all about so I like, I'm literally buzzing for this but it's kind of cold I'm not gonna lie so let's just hope we don't get wet So 
so we are now in our kayaks <laughs> and we are now going towards the rocks okay I can't so we're currently in our kayaks heading through the caves to the beautiful Halong Bay and it's a pretty cool experience it's bare tiring though I'm not gonna lie and we nearly went into a cliff but we're back on track as we head through the caves in our first expedition of the day you can do it left 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 okay we're in the cave also got a wet bag with all our stuff in oh god we're going backwards okay hang on hang on i'll help so after going through the cave tunnel we've now reached this beautiful lagoon surrounded by the limestone cliffs of halong bay and it's like stunning man it is so beautiful here it's so peaceful it's quiet it's relaxed we're not having to use our oars we're just cruising along now and just enjoying the views and the sights it's just top notch man it's just the perfect experience so after some eventful kayaking we are now back on the boat and now we're heading to a beach where we'll chill at the beach for a bit and apparently it's a very beautiful beach one of the most beautiful within the bay and then what we're going to do is i think head back to the boat and have lunch and then after that we're going to a pearl farm to see how they extract pearls from the the clams the oysters as you can tell it's very cold here in halong bay and if you do want to get to the amazing beach you have to basically jump in uh, from the boat and then swim to the beach so I think we're gonna pass on that because it is cold and hearing the screams from the people there I think the water's freezing too next up was my favorite time of the day lunch time and I thought it would legit be like sandwiches but boy was I wrong as we've got a full-on feast up in here and it was all freshly made and packed full of flavor also any dietary requirements are catered for so if there's anything you don't eat or don't like to eat you definitely won't miss out so we're currently on our last activity of the day which is visiting a pearl farm where you get to basically learn about the whole pearl farming process from finding the actual oysters to implanting them it's kind of like IVF but oyster ivy they basically get impregnated and then a pearl is created it's really interesting and then you kind of get to see them extract a pearl and then at the end there's a jewelry shop where you can actually purchase some of the pearls which have been made into various pieces of jewelry so a really cool experience didn't expect it to look or be like this Right, so it's about half three now and we've just got back from our day out and it was an incredible time and a really fun experience. The itinerary for the rest of day two is basically the same as yesterday. So from now, which is half three until about half five is basically free time, we can do whatever we want. And then at half five to half six is the happy hour where it's buy one, get one free on drinks and some canapes. And then squid fishing takes place from half six. They said half six is usually the best time to catch some squid but that's also happening you know after dinner into the evening and then at seven o'clock is dinner so dinner is another set menu and this time i think it's more of a seafood menu so i'll show you guys what kind of food i ate and then basically the rest of the night you're free to do what you want on the ship enjoy the facilities chill at the bar chat to some of the other guests just have a good time really but for now i've got some free time so i think i'm going to hit the gym so i will see you guys in a bit This is the swimming pool here at the Essence Grand and it's a heated swimming pool so no matter the temperature you're going to be warm and toasty and you get incredible views of those limestone cliffs. Man, this is the definition of luxury. night two on the cruise and it's dinner and it's kind of Vietnamese seafood themed by the looks of it so for the main we've got sea bass a bit of kind of gravy or sauce and ratatouille so I think it's the same ratatouille as we had yesterday but the sea bass looks delicious it's a proper thick piece of fish I haven't really had sea bass either I'm not really like a fish guy as I said but the seafood in Vietnam has been really really good actually 
Mmm! Nice! Very really nice! So we've basically got a second surprise main which we didn't realise we were getting. And I've got duck, mashed potato and it's the same ratatouille but it's still really nice. But the duck looks incredible. Let's give this a try. The duck's delicious. It's got like this like kind of char to the top. Kind of like it's been grilled. And whilst we enjoyed dinner, entertainment was provided by a magician. And then all hell broke loose as it was one of the guest's birthdays. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing on right now. <laughs> the are going crazy. Then some random people came to the table and started dancing. And Vietnamese happy birthday song. Slap. After dinner, there was one thing we were yet to do aboard the Essence Grand, which was visit the captain's deck. You heard me, you can go and jam with the main man himself, the captain of the Essence Grand. So that brings us to the end of day two here at Essence Grand Cruises, and what a day it's been. Full of fun, full of incredible food, we did some amazing excursions, got to kayak, and like literally this, this whole experience has just been so good, and we still have one day left, or kind of half a day left, this is our last night but then tomorrow there are some activities happening. So things I learned from the excursion today and just some tips that you might find useful is if you can bring your own snacks and drinks because you can buy it on the boat but it is, you know, expensive relative to kind of normal Vietnam prices. And I think we've pretty much completed the ship. I think we've seen every little nook and cranny explored every room, even got to go to the captain's room. But I'm sure there's still gonna be a little more adventure in the day tomorrow as we go on another excursion. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll see you guys nice and early tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to day three, our final day here at Essence Grand Cruises. And the start of the day is very similar to the other day. So you can wake up early, see sunrise, you can do Tai Chi and then have a light breakfast before you can choose to either just chill on the ship and relax or go on an excursion, which is what we decided to do. So for the final excursion on day three, uh, it's off to another cave uh, where you go through a cave and you can either go by kayak where you row yourselves or you can take a bamboo boat where someone else rows for you. And then once you get through the cave, there's this incredible kind of lagoon or just the area surrounded by limestone cliffs wherever you look and it's the perfect ending to a perfect three-day trip i think this is the last activity of the day before we head back to the cruise ship have brunch and then prepare for checkout So after getting back to the Essence Grand Cruise, it was then time to basically pack our stuff up and check out. And the checkout process is so smooth. It's just like you pack your bags, you lock your bags, you leave them outside your room and you take your key card to the reception desk and then they do the rest for you. So it's really no stress or hassle at all. And then basically that's the kind of end of the three day cruise. And then a smaller boat will then take you back to the port uh, where transportation will be waiting and that will take you back to your hotel. Transportation is dependent on who you book with. We booked direct with Essence Grand and so transportation was included and it was to and from our hotel, but that might not be the case for other providers. And for those of you wondering how much an experience like this costs, well it costs $440 per person. This price includes transfer to and from the hotel in Hanoi, all meals, all excursions, the room itself, and the use of the facilities aboard the Essence Grand. However, drinks are not included, but generally they're not too expensive. Now, having done extensive research into all of Halong Bay's five-star luxury cruises, Essence Grand was similar in price, in some occasions cheaper than its competition, and I'm confident that it is by far one of the best Halong Bay cruises available today. And that brings us to the end of this incredible three-day cruise here in Halong Bay with Essence Grand Cruises and what an experience it has been. It has been truly magical and one of those travel bucket list items that I've ticked off the list and I recommend anybody who wants to visit Vietnam or just go traveling to come and see Halong Bay 
and do it with Essence Grand Cruises because honestly, this was like a mind-blowing five-star experience. If you enjoyed the video, then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you've got any questions about visiting Halong Bay, Essence Grand Cruises or visiting Vietnam in general, then feel free to leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, it's been a pleasure and Halong Bay, you've been incredible. Till next time, peace.